Peas, peas, peas. Oh, man, y'all get it ready. There's a few topics at hand that I want to discuss. Um, you know, in the rising, I've been up kind of around six, five. Give an honest source. You know, ancestors known and unknown. Um, divine Mother, Divine Father, we're honored to you. Shout out to you for still being on this journey, being here with me. You know what I'm saying? If you do hear something that's just other frequencies and vibrations that's around, that's beautiful and divine. But anyway, um, I don't even know how I want to start this. This. You know how you you you, you called to do something, then um, it's like a it's like some a knocking, do 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 do, like boom boom boom. Uh uh, you gotta gotta do it like that, and it just keeps getting louder and louder. And that's how um, the divine. I don't really want to hold this phone. That's how the divine comes through in moments where something needs to be delivered. So I was um, getting messages on um, one of them, one of the topics is the end and the dismantling and the conclusion of trauma culture. Um, what I mean by trauma culture or the end of basically the old narrative of continuing trauma bonding through music, through uh, outlets, you know, any corporation that's connected to that. Like we done with that, you know, over here. But it's like, and what I mean by that, it's like the, the platforms, the places where we have been also, we don't, overlook the dysfunctionality within not only our homes, but you have to also see the dysfunctionality outside of what's been keeping that narrative uh, going and fueling that narrative of dysfunctionality, that narrative of um, trauma, that narrative of, you know, uh, keeping, fueling basically uh, that that way of just keeping people in a loop to where they're not breaking generational chains and curses. And so they, and, and that, and that can be seen as you're talking about platforms where always seeing certain people angry, um, seeing certain outlets like, and this is why a lot of judgment is being brought upon this, you know, and for those that you are tapped in, if it doesn't resonate, let it fly. But in a sense of cosmic justice and divine justice and I just want to let you know, some of us are here as justice for these specific things. And that's what a lot of our awakening and coming into that is about. And we'll keep licking. Oh. So I was just expressing to my partner how also another topic, but Spirit was telling me about this is that I was creating something. And um, she's all right, little. I mean, I know she's excited, but um, I was creating something. I well, I was in the kitchen just prepping some stuff, and Spirit was like, um, being a generational curse breaker, being a generational uh, breaking generational chains, or you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all across the board, timelines, past, present, and preparing it for the future. When we, in being chosen, when you choose to do something differently, you're choosing to bring divine justice to your lineage, karmic justice, whatever you want to call it. Because see that karma follows through the wombs from matriarchally, patriarchally to fathers, the sons, the father, the grandfather, continuing because they plant the seed mama carrying the seed in her womb. So all these karmas, these traumas, these generational um, 
these generational traumas, ancestral traumas, also ancestral gifts. See, divine, see, when, when you bring in choosing to change and shift that narrative, this also brings a highlight to another topic, which judgment is being, pro I'm going to make sure I look right in this camera, when judgment is being brought upon the so-called high priestess, pastors, or people who have been in place that have used their natural abilities for those that aren't aware that there's a polarity to everything. You know, you have the dark and you have the light. And also judgment are being also to those who have manipulated what their gifts are in a way to portray as light. But still, there is a shadow. And so there is judgment. And you'll slowly see this. Um, and spirit was like specifically to Epha priestess. Why everybody were distracted because everyone wants to look, and this is also something that was brought to me. Everyone don't want us to look at that time when they were, you know, speaking about, you know, when all those things came out about the priest and um, you know, the priest, you know, sleeping or doing foreign whatever it is with the little boys. Let me make this very clear. I expressed this to someone. I said, that, you know, it amazes me how we overlook that everything, no matter what you see as far as the colorism or culture creed, everything begin with melanin. Everything begin with the dark, darker color people, the majority of the world. So who do you think because this is the fucking shit that is people are about to be accountable for and it's going to be exposed and it already is. Who do you think taught certain people certain things? Where do you think all the original natural gifts, spiritual gifts, all these things originate from? Okay, I'll give you a Jeopardy moment. Do, 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 do. Eh, eh. See, I, I I did a video talking about, well, I'm not going to, you know what? Let me stay focused on this. So once you start to become aware of that, if everything begin with the dark, I expressed to my partner, I said, who do you think begin and put people in captivity? Who do you think sold or put their own people into these environments? The hand that you don't see that's being revealed. That's why a lot of us here are as divine justice to bring that awareness. And this is what a lot of people feared. Yes, yeah, some of you that, you know, again, this judgment being brought to these people who assumed they were in higher places and not realize the light is here. And the light is becoming more and more brighter. That's how it is. And as it becomes more and more brighter. Hmm. As the light becomes more and more brighter. Um, more things are illuminated. The darkness can't hide anymore. So. Um. Are you okay, baby? She okay? Oh. Okay. So anywho, and that's and that's what no longer can be hidden. See, that's the illusion, spells if you want to call it, or the confusion, the manipulation people have awakened into. See, that's a lot. The calling on your life wasn't just a fact of what you're here to do and walk into your destiny. See, everybody has a role here. Some people are here to create the destruction. Some people are here to observe it. Some people are here to call it out. And see, some of us are whistleblowers. Some of us are 
ones that call call out the judgment. So that being said, um, a lot of which cannot be hidden and will not be hidden anymore. So that's the old narrative that's been dismantled. These so-called people who have used their manipulative tactics and hid their hand for so long and no and, and wanted to play or be in this God complex of this create, you know, this higher uh aspect. Love. Beloved. One more. So, um, yeah, I had to make, had to make sure that, you know, the background didn't overpower what I was saying, but anywho, so where I'm getting at again is that, um, this is what a lot of us are here to do. And this isn't about convincing people. This is about those who are light barriers or seeing how the story was told so many different ways because, you know, there's a fear around darkness and there's nothing to fear, honestly. See, a lot of people didn't want you, this is why at such a young age, they wanted you to be afraid of the dark and even how that psychologically played on people of darker shade to keep them in a fear of knowing who they are knowing ancestrally what they're connected to, natural gifts, spiritual gifts that has naturally been innate in their DNA or who they are naturally. You're telling me that people that can naturally do gifts or do certain things that that's not something higher or they're connected to? So the hand can no longer be hidden. And people know who they are because spirit is also revealing to me that um and I'm and this leads into the vision that I, I I actually typed some of it out on on here as a message, you know, in the like on a post on YouTube, but then something spirit's like, no, it's better to say it on the video. So that was this vision that I had, and um in the vision I had one sock on. And I was just walking like down this dark alley. I was like, okay, what is this? I had one sock on, but I was in in that one, like having that one sock on, I was drawn to recover another sock, like my other sock. So also in that vision, there was basically darkness, you know, this dark alley, dark street around. And then I was able to um see these see this hand like these hands it's like wrinkled hand or old hand trying to reach out and wanting help and as i reached for to help there was like this this baby or young child that bit my hand and i immediately pulled away and so the symbolism behind that video I, and i was uh that you know i interpreted in the divine revealed to me is that humanity is in a dark place. And those of you that are, are um, okay, humanity, humanity was in a dark place. And the symbolism for the sock was showing me that, um, for my interpretation, that it wasn't so much about getting the other sock to have two. It was so much about how it was more symbolizing balance per se, you know, having both socks, staying warm, being secure in a metaphysical aspect, but also through that process of getting the sock and seeing the darkness surround me, I was realizing like as being the light 
and seeing, um, you know, this hand reach out from the darkness, this, this, this young child bite the, like bite my hand. The, the, the creator was revealing to me the symbolic behind that, meaning that those of you know who you are. And when I say healers, shadow workers, those who, who face their shadows, their fears and such things to operate, know what it is to have that spirit of discernment in these ever changing moments and shifting moments. And those who are um, alchemizing their, their, their darkness, transmuting things to um, fight the spiritual warfare and the unseen aspect and the spiritual. And so, and also those that are like um, learning more about, you know, their ancestral connections, like the root work, a lot of things, again, that the the meaning behind the, the biting, the baby biting the, my hand was spirit revealing to me. And there's an old saying that goes is don't bite the hand that feeds you. And if you don't know what that means, I feel like I know I used to hear that a lot growing up in the South what they call us out. So, and it's the saying goes like, don't be disrespectful to those who helped you or, you know, or be ungrateful or unappreciative. And I was like, wow, okay. And I was like, well, I, I could see the connection there with myself and or other people. But the bigger picture what the spirit was revealing to me is this. Those of you who have been what we call elected anointed, those of you that have seemed like you have been last and seen have seen have you have, like you have been an outcast. See, a lot of you were were you, you agreed in a way or like through your trials and tribulation, you went through so many things karmically. You faced so much betrayal. You faced a lot of things that most could never endure. And that's how I also connected the socks to like, no one could have ever walked in my shoes and or socks, no matter where I was barefooted or not. Hmm. And I also realized like how, um, and that goes for you too. No one knows your path deeper than you and the creator or source or God, whomever your higher power is. And that being said, a lot of us, knowing who you are, that's why they say many are called and few are chosen. And in that being chosen, you're choosing to do differently. You're choosing to bring divine justice and clear karma in your lineage. So the biting of the hand symbolizes this. The Most High said, forgive them for what they not know. And for who they have harmed. See, a lot of us that are in or have been in this position, and this doesn't make anyone higher or lower, but specifically for those who have known that they have been through a lot of hardship and questioning their journey and their purpose here and having to endure so much to where you're like, why me? Not only were you facing the very things people from the, not only the, the, the misjudgment or, you know, the, the, um, the slander, the spell work, all those things connected to that. They didn't realize that you knew your value you you were selected, elected, or anointed to live out and to show those people how, how what the importance of spiritual currency is, because something in you used to realize like, well, well, why I don't why do I feel I don't need to work or do this and do that, and I feel like I need to break free and liberate myself. I need to do the things that knowing that you didn't fit in. See. You were the one, and I realized this on my journey, I was the one just as well as you were the one to give them spiritual food, no matter what they possessed, no matter what they offered you, no matter what 
they try to bargain you with or anything. The spiritual currency that was within you, they didn't realize that. They bit the hand and them coming against you, they bit the hand, not only for, they bit the hand um, that not only will feed them, but they not only, they bit the hand that will feed their generations. They're not knowing the calling or the purpose that you had on your life. They're not knowing that the tables were turned. They, them not knowing who you were going to become. See, in that dark place, and I realized in the vision, the dark surrounding me and the people and, and realizing like how of a lower state consciously humanity has been in. You know, there was so much doubt and, and so much confusion, so many things sitting around like what it is I'm here to do. Why, why, why don't I fit in? And see, I realize is that I've always and you've always been doing what you're supposed to do. I didn't say it was perfect, but you always, sometimes, you always, and I've always known what it was to come come back home to myself. Feeling like I was an outcast or alone in the world. Even amongst, you can be amongst a hundred million, thousands or whatever it is, people. You can be in the crowd and still feel alone or still feel like you don't fit in. <laughs> and so... Um, they didn't realize the importance of what you had or was given and then see your value, how valuable and priceless you are. No matter what they presented on the surface, no matter what they have gained materialistically, no matter how many material possessions that they have, you gave something that they knew and that they saw and that they seen in you that was immeasurable, that was priceless, that was had more value than valuable, that had more value than any material possession. And that's your spiritual currency. That's the knowledge, that's the wisdom, that's the that's the natural gift that you had. And see, they didn't realize that as they were your karma, you were their justice. Meaning that just by you standing in your integrity, your truth, not wanting to conform to what they wanted you to do. Hmm. And so this is why, again, um, even in that vision, there were two parts. The other part of that leads into the judgment or what's, been, what's happening with these people. Again, being that people have been so caught up in this illusion and the veil, now the mask are falling and now the illusions are falling away because we all have been like in a way in this spell or this illusion of thinking that all there is is the physical. And so let's just say these people, your mothers, your, your fathers, even people have known that there was something within you all along. What they feared most is you coming into that awareness. Is you coming into your knowing how divinely protected you are, how precious you are, how beautiful you are, how beautifully you've always blossomed, how untouchable you truly are, how limitless you've always been. And so now that the other part to this vision was um, it's like I I went from here and I looked this way. And now the second part of this vision was um, there were like people in chairs. Mm. There were people in chairs that I could see. And again, it was like it was like this. Um, how could I say this? Um, basically, there were certain people in chairs. And uh, it looked like a row of chairs, but specifically very few chairs. And all I start seeing was these hands like literally grab these, these look like 
dark beings or empty beings or whatever it was and throw them, literally toss them like, like it was nothing, like a piece, like a piece of paper just. And then I start to see spirit like place these people of different shapes, creeds, because those of you that, well, from what I see, because when sometimes when you're having visions, there, there aren't faces in a way, because they can be revealed to people differently. But what I saw was these, these people that were thrown away were being replaced, and the people that were being replaced, they had a light within them. Mm. Like, you could see the light in their womb or in their in the center place, basically, it's like these people were being removed, like from a, like the seats were high. And it's like they were being swatted, being removed. And every time they were being removed, somebody was being replaced with a light within them. Mm. I know that's for a lot of you. Because the people that were being replaced were some of these people that we have never seen, some of these people that we may have seen physically, and some of these people who have operated in a lower state or possessed or um, controlled by something unimaginable to the natural eye that it is. And these people that were being replaced with light were people that are here to bring balance, to restore balance to restore truth and love and integrity authenticity because that's a balance to everything in the world everything in the ethos and some of you are those very people and that's what it means when it says the last shall be first see um and, and that's the dismantling of this false pyramid scheme. These people who assume, and I don't care who they are, celebrities, from the lowest of lows to where you're talking about in, the, in, the, in your family dynamics, to the highest of highs, to the highest of heavens. And when I say that I was seeing so much so fast and it was happening and it's already happening. And those of you that know, know. And that's why you're going to see so much being exposed. And you're talking about in Scorpio season and then so forth. That's going to be exposed in the coming months, years, and so forth. And so this is why Spirit was saying, okay, I want you to talk about some of these people who are, who have been glorified or in these positions where it may seem that they were untouchable. But you have no idea who these people are. You have no idea who and what they do. And we're not going to dive deep into that, but it's more so how, again, those of you that are tapped in, you'd be surprised at lengths that people have went to try to um, get you out of here you know, to cause havoc, destruction, or, you know, any type of anything to keep you from progressing, moving forward. And they know that not only their time is up, but they know that right now, what, you know, the divine was revealing to me is that um, they've tried everything. And a lot of it, not when I say it's backfiring, it already has, and a lot of us know what it, you know how to transmute it, and a lot of which what's also going to happen is that the things that they did to you, a lot of them will be stripped of their gifts, and it will be given to those who operate in truth. This is why a lot of you had to come into your awareness of, you know, um, what your family lineage or certain people have been hidden from you, secrets, and so many things. Um, and that could stem from a lot of things, from spiritual gifts to inheritance to um, a lot of things that inherently that you naturally have in your uh, DNA or having in your uh, lineage. But um, this one was very uh, 
coming to me very uh, apparent or clear that I, like I was like, do I got, I need to say that? I was like, okay, why? But these high priestess or these people that people are aware of that are in different countries who study these certain religions, whether it be hoodoo, voodoo, santaria, um, a lot of other things. See, people don't realize that, again, there's a polarity. And it's just as much you have people who operate in the light, you have also those in the dark who try to keep people and have tried to, for well, have kept people lineages and certain people um, in the dark. And now that the veil is lifting, um, now that these things are coming to more uh, of a closing, they realize that some of whom they try to send harm to, there's always that one or that certain individual in a lineage who will naturally alchemize or who will naturally see that what they've tried to do was a part of initiating, meaning that you were anointed or selected for these spiritual attacks, for these uh, certain things to transpire. And it may sound wild, but those of you that know, I'm giving you some clarity right now. And when I say it's like, a, imagine like a, some type of superhero, some type of being that, you know, every time you attack it, uh, it only becomes more stronger or it absorbs the powers or whatever it is that's thrown at them. And that's getting more into the Phoenix energy is that whatever they throw or whatever the thing with a Phoenix is that it's like the immortality of the sense of how it lives through death and rebirth, or it's always reborn from its own ashes. <laughs> Phew. So spirit was like the relating to the, the part one of the biting of the hand is that some people don't realize the destruction that they have brought upon their lineage. Because the all, the all or source sees all. And the nerve or, because <laughs> I got to laugh, but the nerve of some people to even think that they want to keep you in a loop of confusion and manipulation and to, for them to assume that how, like, how long did you think that was going to keep going? Until that was, again, that one individual that they didn't realize that no matter what and how much magic or whatever it is they thrown at them, slander, whatever it is, not knowing that they were, the, the things that they spoke wanting to curse someone, literally they were speaking, not, not, not knowing that that individual person is they'll have to lift a hand. Don't have to do anything, but again, they were cursing not only themselves, but their lineage. And when you talk about lineage, you're talking about your kids, 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 and so forth. That the darkness that you wanted people to remain in, the darkness they shall become or shall be succumbed by or consumed by, that probably is the same thing. And that's how the boomerang operates. And so, um, you know, it was revealed to me so much of how, whether in foreign countries or other countries outside of your own, that people have been doing such things. People have been going and doing such things to where they don't realize that, you know, you are and have been the one to bring illumination to all of this. And so they're not knowing your bloodline. They're not knowing like who you truly are, but they will or they have. And so another thing that was revealed to me is that um, th that biting of the hand topic again is that they bit the hand that will 
that will not only feed them, but they bit the hand that can either choose to serve them. See, everyone wants to look at God or source or whatever your higher power is and don't see the polarity to where it's just as much as their love that is a raft. There's a raft. That, that, that means is um, what's that the uh, old folks tale? It's not a folks tale, but you know, there's a black and white wolf that's within within us all. In, in every moment or every day, you choose which one you serve. And just as much as every man or woman has a right to live their life and their birthright is to live in their, you know, to live in peace and harmony, they also have the uh, the birthright or sovereignty to defend and protect themselves and their lineage and see that's where I put down sympathy empathy can come in and love and compassion but it's much different for a lot of us who know that people have wanted to and desperately keep divide or destroy what has already been built upon a solid foundation because anything you build upon truth see that's what these entities or certain things these dark forces didn't want you to come into and realize that you've already been building every moment you stood in your integrity every moment you stood up for yourself and recovering that fragmentation and the innocence of your power your essence your light your flame You, every step, every moment, every action, you were building a foundation upon truth. You were building. See, you were rebuilding. You were recovering. You were restoring the light that has been desperately tried to be dimmed and, and, and doused for how, so many years in your lineage. Until that was you. That was you. And the ones that don't understand and overstand or comprehend whatever are the same ones. Are the same ones who are either part of certain orders who are either, the Spirit was saying like the ones that now, that not all of them, but some that all of a sudden want to reappear are probably some of the ones who probably been praying on your demise. Some of the ones that are probably um, doing things that they know not what they do, tampering with things that they know not what they do, sending things to people that they don't realize that um, bows and serves that being You know, I can go a little deeper. But a lot of y'all, I ain't going to say a lot. Of, I'm not even going to go there. Those of you that are aware of this, because, see, I was I was that one. And that's what that vision was shown to me was about, is that um, people get, people were attacked at a moment for speaking. People were shunned. People were castrated, taken out, whatever it is. But the divine, especially the divine mother, revealed that not this lifetime. Mm -mm. Because knowing that you're secure and always been protected your whole life, you notice how certain things have become more peaceful, harmonious. The attacks of certain things become more faint. It's like a This is how you know that it's a wrap. The curtain is closing. The credits, you know how they snap the thing. That's all, folks. What did the pig say? I bleep, 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 bleep. That's all, folks. <laughs> and people know it. You know, I feel like there's a time where it's like, 
where they say you can't beat them, join them, or it's in a sense of like uh, people who were who were hidden enemies or foes are now wanting to be alliances. So you're seeing this play out. A lot of stuff that I see on a global scale is more so I connect it. Don't ask me why to like, even from the high, like, it's like that pyramid scheme. It's like, once you see stuff falling, dismantling in certain places, when you see all this stuff around, you know, in the world, I give you a little, a little, a little soft. Connect that to your life in a way. I'm not saying take it on, but that plays a lot into what the last shall be first is happening right now. Nothing can no longer be hidden. So this is, goes back to like a lot of that judgment of these people who have been doing things. Um, they will, and it's and it's wild because I was like, I feel like I'm noticing this. I'm not the only one that you you you're gonna start seeing comments. You're gonna start seeing certain people that you would have never known real like appear in your life, or because I told you it's in you, not on you. It's always been in you. See that the, the, the thing about a lot of why they're pissed, whether seen or unseen forces, is because I I'm telling you, they're afraid, and whether or not they're afraid of not or not, you knowing you, knowing thyself, walking out now, holding your head. Hill, head high and chest out. <sighs> you ever walked in somewhere and it's like you shift the environment, the room or whatever? Because something in you and whatever is, whatever is like within other people, it rattles them. It never could hide. And they knew that it was get to this point. So a lot of which now, again, that is being revealed and it's a process because it's like a lot of things are purging inward and outwardly to bring forth a new, so a new, a new way of being. Um, and so that's truthfully I just keep laughing, man, because it's, like I said, I, I'll have to think more about uh, talking about this, but I know, um, oh yeah, let me get on this topic before I finish this. Uh, that, 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 um, that, um, trauma, that ending or completing that trauma cycle. And this is everyone. A lot of us is that, um, that's choosing not to, uh, continue and breaking free from those trauma bonds, that dysfunctionality. And um, the reward is gonna be so worth it. Like I say, I always express to people, having peace can be more valuable than trying to try to fit in into family or a career or certain things where you're not happy or you don't have this, it doesn't bring you joy. It doesn't truly have a foundation of genuine love and, and support. So that's all I'm going to give y'all right now. Just take care of yourself. Peace and blessings. Shalom.